Hi and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to share 20 things to look out for on a visit to Pompeii. We wouldn't have known about many of these things without our tour guide Raphael who is an archaeologist. I'd highly recommend booking a tour of Pompeii and who better to do that than a local archaeologist. I've added this info in the description and if you're planning a trip to Pompeii I'd highly recommend checking him out. You will most likely enter Pompeii through the Stabia Gate. The first thing we were shown were the city walls that can be seen immediately after entering the site. These were built by the Osco Samnite people before the Romans came to Pompeii. The next things to look out for are the umbrella pine trees. Pellini the Younger was a Roman senator and writer at the time of the Vesuvius eruption and described the plume of ash and smoke as the shape of these trees. And they say that the eruption started after lunchtime. After lunchtime, when the Vesuvius was leaping, now we know for how many years, for 800 years. So they wouldn't have known. The people here, because the city was founded in the 7th century, they know that the mountain was a volcano. Gladiators were not just found in Rome. Pompeii had its own gladiator arena, training ground and barracks. Gladiators were slaves and lived in small rooms on the ground floor of buildings next to their training area. Like prisoners inside jail like this. Would it be one gladiator? One gladiator for each room. Yeah. And that was the second floor? The second floor for storage of all the other rooms of the owner that was living above them. The holes in the walls are where the wooden beams would have been and this would divide the building so that the gladiator would live on the ground floor and then storage and the owner would live above. This one here was used only for lyrics, for songs, not for tragedies because the big one was used for tragedies. This one here could hold 1,000 people. The large amphitheatre was used for comedies and Greek Roman tragedies and was built into a natural hill. It could seat 5,000 spectators. Where you sat would depend on who you are. The more important you were, the closer you sat to the stage. In rain and hot weather, sails could be pulled over to shelter the audience. If you look closely, you will also see seat numbers carved into the stone. Volcanic stone. Volcanic. Waterproofing. Yeah. And look at the wheel tracks. Yes, I'm just seeing it, yeah. So these three stones? Brava, I was asking you, what do you think? Why we have these stones in the middle of the street, even over there? If you remember, I told you that the sewage system was not everywhere. So the problem of the water was a, a huge problem. Especially the excrements of uh, mules, donkeys, animals. Yeah. The garbage of the people they could throw every single day in the middle of the street. And then they started to think, how can we cross the road? It, we don't waste our new shoes. <laughs> the, first Stepping zebra, the first zebra cross of the world. Yeah. Stepping stone. Would it? Would there be um, something over the top, or would it no. be stepping stones? Stepping stone because the cart should pass. Carts have to go through. Ah, yes. So you have to jump <laughs> from one side to the other side of the city. Yeah. If you look closely on the walls of public walkways in Pompeii, you can spot ancient graffiti carved into the stone. Most are friendly messages, but there are also plenty of fallacies said to bring good luck or ward off the evil eye. Forget where's Wally, Pompeii, you have where's Willy. Fast food outlets could be found on the streets near the theatres, so after the audience had finished watching a performance, they could grab a bite to eat from places like this. Food and drink was dispensed from the round pots built into the counter. Throughout Pompeii are Roman temples dedicated to different gods. This is one of nine temples you may come across in Pompeii. They are not as grand as the marble colonnades built in the Imperial Roman period. Also the shape of the stones on the side. Oh, yeah. Yes. For the drainage. Oh, my Look at the, how deep are the wheel tracks, how many carts, yes. how tons of people could pass through this place to put so deep the wheel tracks. Look at the hatch, that one is an oven, oven bakery. So here you could come and buy your piece of bread. In front you could find a bar or a kitchen or the entrance of one house. So it was a vibrant, light city. 
Raphael told us that there was a loaf of bread found in this bakery when Pompey was excavated and it even had the baker's fingerprints still intact. So then the fire made the bread carbon, charcoal, preserved forever and the city has been covered. Like a lid, when you dig a, a kitchen or oven in Pompeii, you find everything they were cooking inside. So would these have all been shops then? All or, shops, all great. Sh all, all shops on the bottom. It was so small for a house. Yeah, yeah. All shops. As you walk up the streets, you may spot holes in the curbstones. These were used to tie up donkeys and horses who pulled carts through the streets. The view. Oh, wow. This is the main road going toward the main square. So this is a... Look, we have no wheel tracks on the floor. But this is a pedestrian. There's already one way traffic system. You know why? Because if you had a shop behind this building, and everybody wanted to go to the forum, sure nobody was passing through a shop. So they gave the same chance to everybody to sell their products, making this side-based one-way traffic system. Real enough, it's not changed, has it? Maybe you're clever than us. Oh, I think. Yeah. Oh, I do. 100%. We haven't changed, so it must be the best way. I want to go to the top, tallest part of Pompeii. Yeah. 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 Ye